My name is Peter Zum Tor. Zum Tor meaning by the gate. Good, uh, that nice name for an architect, I think. And uh, I started out in my father's shop as a cabinet maker and slowly, slowly. Now I'm an architect. I'm a passionate architect. And I think it's a beautiful profession. I do not work for money. I'm not going for commercial projects. I go for projects where I can put uh, my heart into it and which I think are worthwhile doing. Gardens have become more and more uh, important for me as working as an architect. When I was young, I enjoyed them, but not really consciously. And the older I get, the interest becomes more keen and I want to be close to the gardens and I want to be into the gardens. So this re is re my work reflects this kind of desire to know more about it and to integrate the garden or maybe even make the garden as a centerpiece and the architecture just a frame. I make a building which acts as a stage the garden is in the center, not you and not me and not anybody else. We are around the garden, not in the garden. So I think this is very beautiful. And uh, I think everybody understands right away what this would mean. And many of us know, have some vague knowledge that the enclosed garden, uh, there's something beautiful about it. I made this frame and asked a landscape architect, Pete Aldorf, to do this. And he did a marvelous job. So there was no concept discussion of what are you going to do and I want to see this. And so I trusted him. And he surprised me with this wonderful wild garden with a lot of beautiful flowers you would find also on the edge of a field and the edge of woods and so on which there's a statement, I think. But maybe there's no statement. <laughs> this depends. This garden is a, a typological piece. It's a type. It's not a context piece. So in a way, this garden, this kind of viewing, this device can be anywhere. Somebody buys this and puts it up somewhere else. So it cannot be a piece of the place. So this piece is sort of, it's a more uh, eternal piece, so it comes from afar. And if you put it up somewhere else, it would have other plants, and another sky, and another climate. So let's see what happens to this. I think chances are good that it will be put up again, and I will see then uh, what's, what's in it.